Hello everybody, my name is James, hope you're doing well and welcome back to another video. So we've just had qualifying for the Belgian Grand Prix and while Max Verstappen was on another level. I mean in the wet he was just too good for anyone else and that car was producing some serious downforce. Even Sergio Perez was doing really well, with him finding some much needed form before the summer break. He went third fastest and even though Verstappen took pole by quite some margin, he won't start on pole due to a penalty. So who's starting on pole? It's Charles Leclerc, with him going second fastest and in turn inheriting first for tomorrow. Now would you believe it, Ferrari pulled off a great strategy. He went out late in Q3 on a new set of Inters, which was a huge risk given the rain was coming, but it worked and Leclerc pulled off a great lap. And this will be a nice boost for Ferrari following some really difficult races. And speaking about taking pole, Leclerc said, It's good, I definitely did not expect that this weekend. Obviously with the tricky conditions, we could do something above our expectations. So it's a good day for the team, so now we need to focus on tomorrow and see what will happen when the rain is gone. Now McLaren has an off day, with them starting 4th and 5th tomorrow, but the car was seriously strong in the dry during FP2. And with no rain being forecast for the race, perhaps the car is more set up for straight line speed, which is why they may have been hampered today. But we'll see, but I do think we have a very interesting race tomorrow. Especially with Max being 11th due to a grid penalty for taking his 5th engine. Now Verstappen was also involved in an incident during qualifying, with Sauber's Zhou Guanyu appearing to impede him. Towards the end of Q1, Zhou was seen to apparently block the Red Bull as Verstappen headed through Bonchimon on a push lap. Now Zhou has been summoned to the stewards along with Verstappen, and if found guilty, Zhou may be penalised with a 3 place grid drop. But Zhou did set the slowest lap time in Q1, so at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter for him. But that's going to be the video from me today, thank you ever so much for watching, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos and until the next one, take care.